The guiding principle of Ubuntu.net is actually captured in the name Ubuntu.net because Ubuntu is like a regional philosophy which talks about mutual responsibility for each other, that we must look after each other's well-being, uh, their problems, our problems, and their good times, our good times. That's the simple philosophy. I think we've got to think about the higher level benefits of research and education networks. I can compare to what is happening here in the training workshop. It is bringing brains together instead of working in isolation. Give them the means to collaborate at any level they want through video conferencing, through online applications, through exchange of information, and that creates output that would have been impossible. And if that output is directed at development, because working alone does not create the development, but take all that brain energy and focus it on our development problems, and then we shall start seeing change within the continent. For example, the Uganda Christian University of Mukono, they've got very enthusiastic leadership. They've got a bright student body. So they might have the resources. They've even got a network. But is it a good network? Does it work efficiently? And you find that the current problems are really down to us engineering problems, things that can be sorted out by the creation of skills. After that, you then get to the challenge sometimes of advanced equipment. But I've told many people, even outside Uganda, that the challenge of our institutions is not really money. It's understanding the benefit, solving the technical problems, and then they'll be able to direct the resources at those problems. What I've learned in life, if there's anything I've learned, is that sustainability is always through people. So it's not about money, it's not about equipment. You can destroy the equipment, but people have got the ideas and they're empowered and they understand what they are doing. Then they are going to recreate the environment later on. And therefore, training trainers and having them work with others creates the human capacity, which then builds sustainable capacity in the region.